We're constantly being told how we should look and how we shouldn't look like, what's beautiful and what's not. Gorgeous top models with their perfect bodies and buff brutal males make the majority of people feel like they're incomplete. In today's episode we're gonna talk about some very unusual, non-standard type of models that prove that people should feel comfortable in their own skin and that we all should be ourselves. Today you guys will see 10 most unusual models in the world. Okay, so let's start with Melanie Gaydas. This woman is partly blind. She's quite big in New York, however. She was born with ectodermal dysplasia. It's a kind of abnormality that makes her teeth, nails and small bones form in a rather unusual way. Her career went up, however, after she responded to an ad on Craigslist looking for unique people for fashion photographers. She was still in art school at the time. All throughout her childhood, people were mocking her. She was treated as if she had some kind of disease. Working as a model gave her confidence that she didn't have before. In an interview with Independent, she said, I stopped wearing wigs when I started modeling. In a way, I was forcing myself to learn more about who I was and to become more comfortable with who I am at my core and natural state of being. Rick Janist is commonly known as Zombie Boy. He was diagnosed with brain cancer when he was only 15. He made his first tattoo at the age of 16. A few years later, over 90% of his body was covered with tattoos. This made him look like he was wearing a permanent Halloween costume. He was dropped out of school at 17. He joined the Canadian punk scene and began doing freak shows. He's become pretty popular through social media and draw attention of people like Lady Gaga and Jay-Z. After that, he began his professional career as a model. He has become something of a sensation. He even launched his own line of dolls. Unfortunately, Rick died in 2018 at the age of 32. Next on our list is Andre Pajic. She kinda looks like Heidi Klum. There's one but though. She's a guy. Well, she used to be. She took the fashion industry by storm though. She was born in Bosnia and Herzegovina, but was raised in Melbourne. She looks kind of exotic too. She has full lips, high cheekbones, and her overall appearance makes her look unconventional. She's become trans in 2013, and before that she was known as androgynous supermodel. In 2014, she had a gender reassignment surgery because she always felt a woman inside and she desperately wanted to become one. Oh yes, she also an advocate for the LGBT community. Daphne Self is 91. She's the oldest woman model in the world. And she still appears in Vogue till this day. She also does gracious catwalks in Paris. She's the quintessential image of the vintage glamour. She's a living proof that age should not be a barrier when it comes to beauty, because every age has its charm. She started modeling when she was young, and she was able to keep her career to this day. Modeling industry as we know sees models as a quickly perishable product, but Daphne's still going strong. Our list wouldn't be complete without some plus size models, and because ladies like Robin Lowey and Ashley Graham have become way too popular, let's talk about someone else. This is Tess Holiday, and you might say that she's the ultimate plus size model. I mean, she's got what it takes for sure. You might be surprised to learn that she wrote a memoir called The Not-So-Subtle Art of Being a Fat Girl. In her book, she attacks the word fat and tries to give it a positive meaning, I guess. She says that it's nothing but a word, actually, so I guess I was a bit hasty to say that she tries to give it some new meaning. Anyway, Tess just wants people to have fun and be positive. She doesn't take herself seriously and we all know that it's a way to go. Of all the models in our list, Alex Minsky must be the most attractive according to current social standards. Although this guy only has one leg, and that sort of distinguishes him from other male models of today. He lost his leg in Afghanistan in 2009, after he hit a roadside bomb. There was no other way but to amputate his leg. Alex spent 47 long days in a coma and 17 months in a hospital. After that he went back to his everyday routine at the gym, and one day he got in touch with a photographer who offered him some professional photo shoots. Ever since then Alex has become pretty popular. Jeremy Meeks has become a sensation overnight after police posted his pictures on Facebook. He was quickly called world's hottest ex-con. This is actually one of the rarest cases when it's proven that crime pays off, in a weird kind of way, but still. Jeremy was charged with gun possession and resisting arrest in 2014. After that he was nicknamed the blue-eyed bandit. He previously served a 9-year sentence for big theft in 2002. Also, he's a father of three, so right now this guy is living at large. He does catwalks at New York Fashion Weeks, lives in a big house, drives an awesome car and seems to be happy with his new way of life. 
Now we heard a lot about plus size female models, now it's time to talk about males. Zach Miko is the first plus size male model that doesn't brag about his muscular physique. Because as he says, he's just an ordinary kind of guy. Zach is an inspiration behind IMG's new division called Brown. And despite the fact that Zach's got pretty famous, he managed to remain humble. Miko says, I mean, I'm just an everyday guy. I bartend, I do freelance carpentry, I'm an Eagle Scout, I have bills. Sarah Jertz is 28, but she looks much older. That's because she has a rare skin condition called airless Danlos. It makes her skin look kinda baggy. She was always shy about her appearance and always tried to cover her body so that no one would see her skin. In 2015, however, she found courage to show herself to the world to support all women with similar problem. She posted her photos wearing only underwear. Her pics were appreciated not only by the general public, but also by the people from the fashion industry. Kathleen Stickles was born with a cat eye syndrome. It's a very rare condition and it makes her look quite different. Only one of 150,000 people has it. V Magazine photographer Nick Knight saw Kathleen's photos on Instagram and was really stunned by her beauty. He asked if she wanted to do some photographs and she said yes. So eventually Kathleen has become a model. She goes by the moniker Kitten because of her unusual eyes. Kathleen says that all people are different and that it's unfair to call some people beautiful while calling others ugly. And she's very happy to be able to let people realize it. That's all for now guys. Remember to press the like button if you liked the video. See you later.